Welcome to V2 Profiling. Today the V2 Link Studio and V2 Profile Pack have been made live. With this release, I am here to walk you through updating your Link Studio and Profile Packs to the new V2 release. Let's begin. Plug in your link and connect the tether cable. Now open your Link software. When in connection to Wi-Fi, it will prompt you with a notification to inform you that there is a newer version of the studio you can download. When you click on this attached web browser, it will redirect you to Nucleus Coffee Tools website. Here you need to click on the downloads page. This will take you to the bottom of the screen where you can select to download either the Make iOS or Windows software. Select the software that's compatible with your computer and start the download. For Mac users, your privacy settings may stop you from immediate download. Please open your YouTube. Go to Nucleus Coffee Tools, Training, and find the video. The Link Sample Roaster Complete Walkthrough. Please follow the instructions from 1 minute 10 seconds to 1 minute 40 seconds to understand how to continue with the installation. Once this update is complete and the latest studio is on your computer, quit the Link Studio and reopen. Doing this will prompt the confirmation informing you that the update was successful. With the new studio installed, it's now time to update the firmware and the profile pack in order to be able to run V2. It would be best if you started with the updated firmware first. Click on the black bonbon icon to open the menu pop-up. Click on the far right tab from this pop-up called firmware. When it loads, click on the option to install the latest version and wait for it to load. Click OK when prompted and the roaster will update and reset. Now click on the Profile tab. You will notice the Install Profile option has a drop-down for version 1 and version 2 packs. Select number 2 and click the Install V to prompt that's indicated on the button to the right. Note here that a user can select to install the V1 or V2 profile pack anytime to the roaster by changing the selection in the drop-down and clicking install. When the loading bar is complete, you will be asked to click OK for one final reset, allowing the new profile pack to be transferred to the unit's internal memory. An important note here is if anyone has a fan speed trim setting other than 1.000. You will need to make sure to do the fan calibration process again as these resets would have taken this value back to factory zero. With everything complete, in the profile pack option in the studio, you will now see 10 inboxes. The first five are the cupping profiles. The next is the espresso inbox, followed by two filter inboxes, one omni inbox, and lastly, the user inbox. When accessing the profile packs directly from the unit, the workspaces will have a subheading for the roast style first. When you push the play button on a roast style selection, it will then allow you to scroll through the inboxes within that workspace. When you want to select one, you just push play again to load. Navigating through the different profile numbers within that inbox will still be accessible from the fourth button to the right. And that is a wrap. From Capologic and the team here at Nucleus. Thank you for the support and encouragement, allowing us to continue advancing roasting whilst also hoping to make it more accessible and easier for users of all skill sets. As always, happy roasting.